Welcome to a Lego We Do Robotics video. In this video, we're going to be looking at speed and how it can be improved from the basic version of the project Lego We Do provides when building the car, the dragster. So in this lesson, Lego We Do asks the question, how can a car go faster and explore race car features and investigate ways to make it faster? So what Lego suggests is after having built the race car, to try tinkering around with the mechanism for generating speed. So at the end of the project, Lego suggests, why don't you try moving the pulley from the lar or the, the rubber band from the large pulley to the small pulley and see what happens. Well, this can be improved from there because if you're familiar with Lego we do, you'll know that the maximum speed that a motor can be set to is 10. So by using this block and setting the value to 10, and choosing the direction of travel, we can uh, have our robot drive. Now, you're limited by the mechanics that are involved in that robot. So if I were to connect my robot, as you see I've done here, and I plug in the power of 10 to the motor, and I click play, my robot will drive forward. Plug the cable in would help and we see it go. And the mechanism here is pretty simple where we have two pulleys. The large pulley is connected to the motor and it's driving a pulley that's connected to the axle. Now when you have a one-to-one -one relationship like this where the large pulley for the driving gear is the same as a large pulley on the driven gear, there's no additional mechanical advantage or speed being gained. So if we were to look at another example, we can look at ways to possibly improve upon this. So in my next example, we have another car, very similar in overall shape. The structure and the body frame and the chassis is all the same, but what's different is the driving gear, this large pulley, is connected to a small pulley on the axle. So the driving gear is larger than the driven gear. Now, the overall body style is the same. The only difference is that mechanical advantage. Motor is the same, speed of 10, we click play, it drives off if we connect the cable. If you're ever having issues um, with your cable not turning on or your robot not turning on, check your cables. So I noticed down here my motor symbol wasn't showing up. It was off like that. So make sure it's visible so you know you're actually connected to the motor. And now we'll click play. Okay. Now we're going to be doing a demonstration here soon, but that is a much faster example than the previous. Well, let's look at another one. Let's look at my fourth model. We'll skip the third for now. We have a much different looking mechanism here. We have several gears all interacting with each other. We have a large 20 tooth gear connected to the motor, which is driving a 12 tooth. And on that same axle for the 12 tooth is another 20. So we generate a speed mechanism with the first line of gears, and then we multiply it by an additional. Now this creates a whole lot of additional speed because now we are multiplying the ratio of our driving gear to our driven gear. And when I click play this time, notice I will check the cable because it's not visible there. And now it's popped up, we're good to go. Now, way, way faster. I need to, in fact, reinforce my motor because it just fell off, it came loose. So if we connect to the brick back on there and we do it again and click play, it drives right off the screen. Now, let's take a look at this uh, in a race. 